worship your name, oh, 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 I worship your name, oh, Welcome back. Let's take our Bible reading from Matthew chapter 26. Verses 36 to 40. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 to 40. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Could you not wash with me one hour? Wash and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We take our hymn for the homely my God, my Father, while I stray, oh, teach me from my heart to say, Thy will be done. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this afternoon for your love upon us. 
our prayer this day is that your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our homily this evening shall be titled, Let Your Will Be Done. Let Your Will Be Done. Our text is Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 to 41, where we read. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 to 41. But verse 39 says, He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Let your will be done. One of the common nature of man is always to seek our own personal will. We deserve our own will to come to pass in almost everything that we do. We expect that our wish, our desire, our intent will be the only thing that should manifest almost all the times. What is a will? A will is a legal document that indicates or declares a person's wishes regarding the disposal of his properties when he or she will be no more. A will is a desire, a wish, an expectation, or even a thought. As children of God, we are always in battle between allowing the will of God to be done and our own will to be done. The will of God here denotes God's plan, God's wish, God's desire, and expectation for us while our own will denotes our own plan for God concerning us. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, where we read, Jesus fell on his face and cried out, saying, O oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, not what I desire, now what I expect, but as your will and desire. We need to always understand that we need to let the will of God to be done in our lives through prayers. He separated himself unto prayer and cried out, Let your will be done. At Gethsemane, there was a conflict of wills. At Gethsemane, there was a conflict of ways, and if we must triumph in life and the conflict of our lives, we must yield our will to God's will. The will of God comes to pass in our lives when we are in agreement with Him. Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says, Do two walk together hand in hand, except they are not... Do two people walk hand in hand, if they are not going to the same place in the message version of the Bible. And the King James said, Can two walk together except they agree? Two people can never walk in hand in hand if they are not going to the same place. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 37, Jesus took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee to pray with him so that the will of God will be done in their lives also. But because they were not in agreement, they slept and left him alone praying. When the temptation started coming, they ran away. Even Peter, who boasted, I will never leave you, denied him three times. Brethren, we must always seek to do the will of God. In this time and age where our will seems to be triumphing over the desire of God in our lives, but come to think of it, are we trying because we are always quick to see what we feel is good for ourselves and we feel that God is slow to fulfill his purposes. But God again will never be a man that he should lie. And God has his own timing for everything. So let's always seek to do the will of God. Each time we seek our own will, 
we will fail. If we seek to do the will of man, man will fail us. But when we do the will of God, we prevail. Man will fail, our strength will fail us, our will will fail us. But when we do the will of God, we will always prevail. There are three levels of God's will. One, His sovereign will. And that means He is in control of whatever happens and what He approves. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39 says, Jesus fell on his face. And that verse of the Bible, that verse of the Bible brings us to that category. His sovereign will is to bring to pass what he desires. Be it good as we may think or bad. But one thing is certain, God's will remains the best. So Jesus said, I leave my hands into your sovereign will. Do with me what you desire, not what I wish, but what you will. So let your will be done in my life. We need to allow the sovereign will of God to be made manifest in our lives because God will never take us to a point of destruction. At the end, His will will speak for us. The second aspect of God's will is God's will as a decree or a command. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3 and chapter 5 verse 18, the Bible says, For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God. And chapter 5, verse 18, reads thus, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This is the will of God as a command, as a decree. God declares unto us, live in sanctification. He says, in everything give thanks. Give thanks to him because he's a faithful God. And the third level of God's will is what we call a God's permissive will. God's permissive will. Where he says nothing to us and we think that he's saying nothing. Or when we try to twist the hand of God and God allows us, not because he wants, not because it may be good for us or bad, but he wants us to see at the end that we should have waited for him. God's permissive will. Just allow you to go through what you are going through. Put on that project. Put on that face of life. At the end, you will come to realize that truly God needs to be by my side. If we must do the will of God, we must therefore have a teachable attitude. Anyone that desires to do the will of God must have a teachable attitude. We, we must be ready for God to teach us, for God to break us, for God to, 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 to direct us. We must be ready to allow God to do His will in us. Number two, we must desire to know His will. You cannot do what you don't know. So if we want the will of God to, be, to come to pass in our lives, we must desire to know His will. His will. Number three, we must be willing to do His will no matter the cost. We must be willing to do his will no matter the cost. Jesus Christ said, let your will be done, not mine. So he was ready to do the will of God no matter the cost. And this afternoon, this evening, God is reminding us. God is reminding us that his will is the most important in our lives. His will of God is most important in our lives. If we allow God to do His will in us, then God will surely bring us to a place of blessing. It's my prayer this evening that God will do His will in us. Let us pray. Father, we bless Your name. We worship You. We adore You. We glorify You. We thank you for spreading forth your will in our hearts 